Media 100 users can acquire as many as eight discrete tracks of audio in a single pass via DV, HDV, AES EBU, or embedded SDI. The input channel mapping tool allows users to choose the audio channels they want by simply turning them on and off. Channels can be remapped to desired tracks, and pan settings can be adjusted individually before the clips are even acquired. To assign and remap channels during acquire, go to the Media 100 menu, Preferences, Audio Input. Click on the Input Channel Mapping button and the Input Channel Mapping tool will appear, providing simple on-off buttons for incoming channels and drop-down menus for remapping of channels and adjustment of pan settings for each channel. Once acquired, these channel assignments are not set in stone. Tracks can be remapped again with a track mapping tool accessed from the Edit Suite. With the track mapping tool, users can turn individual tracks on and off and reassign some or all of the audio tracks as needed. These changes become part of Eclipse properties. They are preserved when the media becomes unavailable and will be honored when Eclipse is reacquired in the future. Another place where channel and track mapping come into play is in the Change Media Attributes tool. Say you've got a bin from an older version of Media 100 that only supported two channels of audio on Acquire. Now you'd like to reacquire those clips with all the original audio channels in separate tracks. Select the clips and go to Media, Change Media Attributes. You will see that input channel mapping is not available. This is because the clips have retained their source media file names and are still looking for their original source media. This problem can easily be solved with a power log. With the bin selected, go to File, Export to, Power Log. Save it somewhere it will be easy to find, then import that power log back into your project. This has the same effect as manually logging every clip from scratch. All of your current media settings and preferences are applied to the clips, and any association to the original media files is gone. You will now be able to use the input channel mapping tool on these clips. You can select more audio channels and remap them as needed before reacquiring.